If you've ever changed a URL on your site, you know that it can be a headache. Once you change the URL, you then have to update everything that's linking to that page. So any buttons, images, or text links all have to be updated. Elementor makes this a lot easier with their internal link feature. Let's say I wanted to link this image to another page. Instead of adding my link where it says custom URL, instead I'm going to click on this icon. Then I'll select internal URL. I'll click on that, hit content, then search for my page in here. Now, if I update the URL to this page, it will automatically update this link too. Pretty cool, right? Did you know that you can easily achieve an image scroll on Hover without using any new plugins or adding any custom CSS code? It can all be done in Elementor. Let me show you how. Instead of adding an image widget, I'm going to add a background image to this column. I'm going to set the background position to top center, repeat to no repeat, and the size to cover. Now I'm going to click on the hover state. I'm going to upload the exact same image to the hover state, but instead of setting the background to top center, I'm going to set the background position to bottom center, so when we hover over it, it slides down. In Elementor, your buttons can do so much more than just link to another page. Click on dynamic tags, then select contact URL. Within these settings, you have so many options. You can have your button email you directly, call you, set up a Google Calendar appointment, message you on WhatsApp, or even more. One of the most powerful widgets in Elementor Pro is the contact form widget. If you've used this widget before, you know how easy it is to set up a contact form, but did you know all the things that can be done after somebody hits submit? You can collect submissions to ensure that you never miss a message through your contact form. If you're using one of these popular email marketing tools, your Elementor Pro form can automatically subscribe people to your list. You can also redirect users to another page after they hit submit or send them an auto response email using the email to feature. Right clicking on widgets, columns, or sections can allow you to quickly edit in Elementor. But did you know that you can change these preferences if you'd rather not right click? Click on the hamburger icon and go to user preferences. Toggle editing handles to on. Now when you hover over a widget, all of your editing options show up without having to right click. Leave a comment down below if you learned something new about Elementor by watching this video. And be sure to subscribe to the channel because we upload new tutorial videos here every week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.